Hi, welcome to Angie B's house. I'm Angie B, and today I received a Cubis, a QB Junior, so I thought I'd show you the unboxing. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first, I just wanted to go ahead and give you a little update. Um, as you can see, my house is pretty getting pretty full. <laughs> Um, in the process of moving my mom into an apartment and hi Alexander moving my mom into an apartment and uh, getting her house ready for sale so uh, this is a, some of the stuff that's come out of our house and I just haven't had a chance to put away yet uh, but I'm on a short medical hiatus because I injured my foot so I thought I'd go ahead and get this video out so let's see what's inside True unboxing. My husband ordered this and hopefully we'll be soon done with my mother's house and we'll be able to spend some time using this and I'll we'll have time for us. Okay, now let's see here. Okay. Okay, first thing on top is a quick, as quick assembly guide. It just says align, flip, screw, and repeat. Pretty simple, hopefully, so we'll see. Okay. Okay, you also have a thank you for your purchase and signatures of the, of the QB team. This is a quick start guide of what's in the box. It says a QB seated ellipt elliptical, the pedals, some screws, a screwdriver, and a chair wheel stopper. And the same thing in what I assume is French. Looks like French. Next thing I find is the six month limited warranty, which is nice. Um, will perform under normal use, operate substantially in accordance with the company documentation. So, so much and so forth. Okay. Belt. There's a box. I'm assuming that would be the pebbles. Get my knife here and we'll see. screwdriver. toppers. Apparently you can use your office chair. I have to read the directions of course. Uh, wheel those in here. This is this is rubber for a non-skid surface. That's pretty good on the box so we'll see how it does on the floor. And then we have it's pretty big, pretty heavy here. 
flip it over. Get this out of the way. getting this off the porch. Injured foot, it wasn't exactly fun. It was pretty heavy. And almost. Almost. We can get the books out of the way. get you zoomed in so you can see it real quick okay there you go let's get in a little closer see if it's like the color my husband picked it out had a choice of I think teal and royal blue he liked the teal and uh, it has a little display here which is really nice um, it's already coming on so it must have a battery of some sort somewhere it has a handle right here to pick it up I can pick it up very easily with the new angle. But you have their stride, your time, calories burned, distance, rotations per minute, and then you can just scan the different settings. Um, right here goes from one to eight. Of course, I'll start on a one since I'm definitely a beginner. And left and right. And that's about it. That's uh, what it looks like, unassembled right out of the box. This is my QB. I'm getting ready to assemble it. So I thought I'd show you just exactly how simple and easy it is to assemble. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, first, you recommend, of course, reading and understanding all directions uh, to, improve, to ensure proper installation. Uh, but it really is very simple. Uh, it has to, all you have to do is put the pedals on. Each pedal is marked with a right and a left sticker. So the hardest part is going to be to remember what's left or right. You'd think being left-handed, I'd know exactly what's what. Uh, but what's nice about the QB is not only, of course, does it come with the screws, it comes with its own screwdriver, so I don't have to go looking for one. And so, let's see. This is, oh, even the little arms are marked with right and left. I just noticed that. So that makes it even more, even simpler. Yeah, that's the left. That goes on that side. Okay, so the directions say to put the pedal on. There's holes, two holes here, one here, one here, and there's on the back of the pedal, there's the screw holes, um, they're raised up above the pedal. It just says to put those screw holes in the other holes, and then flip it over. It might help if I unpackage the screws. most difficult parts getting the screws out of the bag. Okay, so just go ahead and line them up. It should go right in. And this might be a little easier said than done. Let's see if this one goes in easier first. 
think this one's trying to go to the side. It's so simple if you can't get the holes lined up. So let's take a look here. Go around and make sure that they are lined up. Lined up. Oh, this one's pretty good. Let me put this one then instead. No, I don't have it upside down because it's got a groove specifically for the arm. So maybe not quite as simple as I thought it was going to be. I'm trying to get, oh, trying to get the holes lined up. I wouldn't hurt to have a little bit better light. screws. Well, this is not encouraging at all. Not encouraging at all. See, it won't well, fit this way. Size. This is Writing's um, right side up. Okay. There we go. Now I have it. Now I think I got it. I just don't want to strip it since the petals are plastic. Not that I would ever be taking it off, but you just, you really don't want to strip the inside of the plastic trying to get the screw in. Even if, like I said, even if you don't plan on taking it off ever. Oh, it's in the hole. It just won't screw in. There we go. There we go. Now I got it. So. As you see, the hardest part's been trying, just trying to get the hole lined, holes lined up. For some reason, I can't seem to talk today. Flip it back. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the other one on. Oh. Okay, I'm on the other side now. And again, we'll see if it's easier to put it, put the pedal on, turn it upside down, and line up the holes and start screwing. Stand up for this. I 
and getting more light on it didn't help. ready to go. Now of course as I said I have a bad foot so I'm not able to actually use it but just to give you a little bit of a demonstration let's see you put that I did record two strides when I was playing with it but it just pedals like an electrical so as you can see it goes forward and backwards and you can go back and forwards and backwards. And just want to go ahead and sit it on the floor and sit in your chair and away you go. Um, one thing I didn't show on the unboxing video is the bottom of it. Both here, 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 and here. There's a non-skid material, so should be able to work on just about any floor. It doesn't move. This is a solid surface countertop table. Doesn't move or slide on it at all. So, very, very simple to put together. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you do, please comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, you have a great day.